Be sure it can't get into the hands of curious children, troubled teenagers, a thief, or anyone else who might misuse it. Remember, always lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. This message brought to you by the National Crime Prevention Council, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, and the Ad Council. This is Tracy Hutchins with CBS 46 News. You're listening to The Crush on Sensation Station Network. Oh, man, we're here. It's NBA time. It's basketball time. We're in the playoffs. It's a great time of year, man. And I was saying, you were sad to show it up. I knew it was playing. All them 82 games, it's a long season. We need to get to the playoffs as early as we can, man, so we can enjoy them. Y'all ready to talk about it. Welcome, Coach, to the show, man. Man, glad to be back in here once again. Hey, did you secure the thing you were telling me about earlier? Working on that. Okay. All right. Working, well, on, that. working on that. Yeah. I got something else for you, too. Oh. Afterwards. You ain't got it ready yet? Make sure. You ain't got it ready yet? At least you're fiddling with stuff over here. <laughs> you know, with technical difficulties. Trying to get it together. Let's start with the first. In, we're starting the East, man. Boston, Chicago. Mm-hmm. Taisha, we talked to you a little bit about it earlier, about what was going on. Was it more... Coach, we were talking about Isaiah going through what he's going through and still putting up 33 points. Talk about the heart of that young man, man. It's really interesting because you listen to different people talk about, you know, what makes athletes unique, what makes them different. In a time like that, the best place it for your refuge is in between those uh, lines, that 94 by 50. Yeah. And I think what was really interesting for him, for him to come out and score 33 points mm-hmm. and play as efficiently as he did, mm-hmm. really said a lot about him. I just couldn't believe that some of the other guys didn't step up. I mean, they got out-rebounded again. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's one of the things. The, the Bulls can be somewhat of a bad matchup for the Celtics when is it's it, all said and done. Do we believe that? If there was anybody, this was the one team or the one team that the Boston didn't want to play to start yeah. off with? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, sometimes it just comes down to matchups. Like we talked about with the uh, NCAA tournament. It comes down to matchups sometimes. It's, I mean, in the most interesting part about the Bulls, I mean, Jimmy Butler's good. He want to try, try to, you know, drop something off on it. And then uh, I, I just think it's a bad matchup all the way around. If Boston's not knocking down shots, you know, what can they do? Taisha, what's your thoughts on Rondo coming back? Whew, a lot of people don't like Rondo's attitude. <laughs> so that's going to be tough. But, you know, in Boston, it's about what you do on that court, really. You know, he might get some boos, but if he puts some points up, He'll be a little bit. I, I I think Boston's forgiving when you're playing well. Now, if he comes back and he doesn't play well, rotten tomatoes. <laughs> Basil, is Chicago, do they have Boston's wait, number? Time out real quick. Mark Melvin and uh, J. Mac, I hate you. I hope all the bad things in life <laughs> happen to you and only you. Okay, now moving on. <laughs> that was so, random. Wow. What wow. did y'all say to him? So, is, is Boston, is Chicago got Boston's number? Everybody. Hey, man, it's just game one. Everybody calm down. Right. Adjustments will be made. The thing that helped Chicago yesterday was the pedigree of a Dwayne Wade, the pedigree of a uh, Ray John Rondo. But if you look at that, that, that just that roster, they're, they're not equipped to beat Boston. Okay, so answer the question. Who on Boston can get the boards? Who can get, be that second score outside of Isaiah? Well, uh, my boy played good. Bradley played good yesterday. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Avery, Avery Bradley, he can get buckets. Al is going to have to man up and play some basketball. He's going to have to get down in that paint, and then my man with the braids. Not Jerry Green, not the ugly braids. You're talking, about Jay, you're talking about Jay Crowder. Jay yeah. Crowder. Both of those guys, they got to they gotta get in the paint, Coach. Right. They, the th- one thing about playoffs, playoffs become such a physical game. And the matchups and, you know, teams actually run offense during the playoffs. So Boston with, with Brad Stevens, they have a they, they have better pieces that will help them get through this first round. It's going to be interesting. I think it'll go six or seven. It's going to be a very interesting series. Mm-hmm. I don't think Chicago's going to win overall, though. They probably they might not, but I'm just saying it's going to be tough. This first series is going to be tough. Mm-hmm. I, think. I think it's going to take enough out of Boston if they are to move on to where they're going to struggle in the next round. Because 
also in the first round of the playoffs, you want to take care of business as early as possible so you can get rest. Yeah. I just right. feel like we have a young so, I mean, team. They need to, They have some growing to do. That's why Paul little... George was so mad. Yeah. <laughs> when he didn't get the ball. It's a yeah. little different. Well, he was just... Got to gotta get him to rock. Got to get him to rock. Where are you going to get him to rock at? He was dope. LeBron had him <laughs> guarded 50 feet away. <laughs> Still got to put the ball in his hand. Hey, okay, what are you going to do? D- drop kick it? <laughs> Check it for 50. <laughs> hey, man, we come back, man. I want to talk about uh, right now this game is, of course, Cleveland was up by 10, but now it's 7. So it's going to be a fight at the end like it is. So we'll talk about that. Keep going with this Eastern Conference when we come back. Stay with us, Sister Chris. Driving has a rhythm all its own. Don't wreck it with a text. Before you get behind the wheel, silence your phone. Or better yet, designate a texter. For more text-free driving tips, visit StopTextStopRex.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Hey, Dr. Phil here. You know, I help people solve difficult problems every day, but one problem has me stumped. Childhood hunger. Nearly 16 million children in America struggle with it. Luckily, the Feeding America network of local food banks collects surplus food, giving hope to hungry children and their families. But they need your help. Join me in supporting Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. If you're looking for that ratchet, you're in the wrong place. It's the nation's urban internet station, Sensation Station Network. This is Amar Batman Karen. You listen to The Crush, the only sports radio show that they're going to keep it real in the A on Sensation Station Network. Hey, man, I don't even know if we should even talk. We're just going to let the camera stay on Taisha because that's all. Anyway, man, we back, man. Let me start. <laughs> let me sh- nah, all right, let's keep going. Yes. <laughs> Since this game is going on, we're going to let this Cleveland, Indiana finish out for the end of this uh, segment. But we're going to go on down. Impressions on the Greek freak. Wow. What he did in Toronto. Wow. This guy is everything. Man. He, was hey. he dunked on the whole city. <laughs> Jurassic Park, everybody. I know this is the first game, but I am, I've heard, I, of course, we always, man, see, remember we talked about the NBA don't play enough of these other teams like Utah, we, Milwaukee. You don't get to see them. Well, we don't get to see them a lot right. till the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Now you're seeing, and two good, whatever, the Greek freak. And your thoughts on him, man, when you saw that first game, man. Bad boy. Him him and Thun Maker. Oof. <laughs> long, and, 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 you know, and that's what I put that post out there, and I was just like, Milwaukee too long. They long. They are, are such a long athletic team. And you got to think, the Greek freak still growing. Right. He went from six, what, six, nine, or six, eleven, almost seven foot now. Yeah. Wow. And, and you have to, man, this, this kid has handles. Yeah. Hops. Like, like what? That crossover is mean. Yeah. And, crossover and we don't get thing. to see him yeah. enough. And, and this is the problem I have with the NBA. Okay, it's like we got season tickets for Golden State, <laughs> for New York, <laughs> Cleveland. You know, Cleveland. Like, show us these other teams. Like, we, you don't get to know these guys until the playoffs, and, right. which is why I always say the NBA season is too long. Right. Because, like, too many the, games. the intensity that you saw in, like, these game ones, that's, 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 the NBA used to be like that. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, you know, yeah, do something with it, man. Well, yeah. I, I go back to this one. I think another thing nobody's talking about with Milwaukee is their guards are long. Malcolm Brogdon, about 6'3". And that's Chris what I was Middleton's saying. Chris about 6'5". Their five, length six, six. is a problem. Yeah. Absolutely. Then they got Greg Monroe coming off the bench. He got a double-double. He comes off the bench. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. 6'10", <laughs> like 250, 255. And here's the, the crazy court. thing. The kid that uh, came from Chicago that was hurt, that got hurt from Duke. Mm-hmm. He's hurt this year, but he he's on this squad too. Yeah. And Milwaukee, Parker. Milwaukee uniforms are actually kind of fly. <laughs> oh boy, is that right. mean you gonna go, go get you a jersey? Nah, nah, I ain't gonna get no jersey. But what I do want them to do, white tights. They gotta go white tights. Don't leave them dark tights alone when you wear like dark color uniform. White tights, it brings out your socks. And okay, let's go. <laughs> he's into it. Well, I'll he's just bring back the old school short shorts. What? Like nah, ain't nobody wearing those. Ain't nobody wearing those. They wear them in college. Parish joints. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Parish joints. Like, Parish like, well, joints. You true to balls. Yeah. <laughs> like, true to balls. And like, all, all of them had on, uh, 
underwear. <laughs> they did. <laughs> and they came straight from the underwear bed. On. And threw a t-shirt like, with it. So let's go, guys. And break, and break 40 off on yeah, yeah. Falling out. What about when the guys were under the basket? Under oh. with the basket. It's just all kind of stuff hanging out. We, we, used to, when we used to go to the Omni. And it got to be in the little shorts. Yeah, and, and Bird would come to town. You'd just be like, bro, I mean, can you get your sh- shorts just come down like to like the top of your thigh? <laughs> Everybody used to like John Stott. They thought he was a lifeguard. <laughs> His shorts were so short. He was like, so we want to thank the Michigan suit. Wolverines for yes, changing this out. And Stockton was still like, I'm still wearing them. Right. Don't, right. don't give me them long shorts. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I'm good. Keep me in the Dukes. And Keep call me in the Dukes. And call them alone. Toronto, what do they have to do? Tyson, your thoughts? Mm, honestly, I haven't been paying attention to Toronto at all. I'm <laughs> sorry. They don't show them either. I'm sorry. Right, and they were number two last I had to go to a sports bar to catch that, and I just haven't done it. She was in uh, the hanging out there. Yeah, they need to get a little further along before I have to pay attention to them. Well, well, the problem with with Toronto is very plain and simple. Kyle Lowry's got to get out the six inches in between his ears Mm. because historically he's been abysmal. Yeah. In first rounds of playoffs and just get back to just this is when they get in trouble playing yeah. the game. This is when they get in trouble. That's all. They're, some teams are great for the regular season, get to the postseason, get exposed. But this is why the regular season is just it's it's so long yeah. that these guys at a certain point, like I think a lot of guys they shut it down. Right. And then, you know, like LeBron said he he in zero dog thirty mode, so now he's not on no social media. Because yeah. now guys dial in because now this, this is where you create your legacy. Yeah. yeah. In the playoffs. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to go back to this one, though. Um, if you're an owner, right, and you get 41 opportunities, right? Money grab. That's exactly what it is. Go make Parking, all that stuff. When we come back, man, we're, we're going to talk about Atlanta. So we stay with us. It's the Chris. JBT 700 Miami Circle 30324. It's not a chain, it's a chain reaction. Invest $49 a month at our real gym. For more info, go to facebook.com forward slash jeans body tech. Hello, everybody. It's Rodell Lewis inviting you to join the Jen and Rodell in the ATL show on SSNATL.com as we simulcast with 247PraiseRadio.com Saturday starting at 8 a.m. Oh, my God! It's a taste of tradition where we play great gospel music, great artists, interviews, and a lot of fun. Oh, that's wonderful. So join Jen and Rodell in the ATL as we get our praise on 247PraiseRadio.com simulcasting on SSNATL. So, I'm a dog, and I just got adapted by this new human guy, and I'm starting to wonder how he got along without me. I mean, okay, something as simple as walking around the block. He's got this leash thing, and he puts me on one end and him on the other, and I'm just taking him around. I I think he's afraid of getting lost. Without that leash and me guiding him along, I don't think he'd find his way back home. But it's kind of cute. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the ShelterPetProject.org. I'm Nicole Carr with Channel 2 Action News, and you're listening to The Crush on the Sensation Station Network. Hey, man, we're back. We're still talking these NBA playoffs right now. Okay, guys, so the Washington Wizards versus the Hawks. All I know is one thing. Bad matchup. Mm -hmm. We in trouble in the backcourt. (laughs) Bad matchup. John Wall and Bradley Beal are gonna be problems with this thing seriously. I'm gonna try to tell you about John Wall, bro. He he's very physical. You, you miss you miss Jeff T get? Oh man, yeah. You miss Jeff T get? I, I thought so. My dad. Nah, we don't miss Jeff T. Alright. Huh? Okay. How your, how your dad gonna say that? Man, listen. Dude, dude was tripping, man. John dude Wall. was tripping. Senior was tripping. He loved Dennis. Oh man, he's shrewd as his guy. The blonde, the, the little blonde thing and everything? Nah, they not a fan of that. <laughs> but Schroeder, he, he do not like Jeff Teague. I'm like, listen, you, you, Teague, and I'm not saying Teague was great, but he had the experience. Now you putting a, a first year start out there, basically. And you and John Wall, see him, John Wall, like, bro, gas. We going four down, gas. 
Well, John, when John goes to the basket, it's hard to stop him. First of all, what Teague and Horford were in Atlanta, they were stabilizers. It's the best word to describe them. They stabilize everything. The backcourt, the front court, you know, timeouts, locker room, all of that. And it's hard to replace that, especially when you try to replace it with youth. Mm-hmm. You know, and then, I mean, you can't have 20 some turnovers and think you're going to win. 20 some turnovers, turnover, right. which is, goes back to the point guard position. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why was Baysmore coming off the bench? They sat him. And somebody said Baysmore is trash. Yeah. They, put, they put trash cans up there. <laughs> Baysmore is trash. That's man. Harsh. <laughs> J Matt Tony, German chocolate melting on the court. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's just a bad matchup because you have a guy who in John Wall who's coming into his own. Like, like he that deal. All I'm gonna say is this: If you'd have told me who would win up front, Marquise Morris or Martin Gortat versus Dwight Howard or Paul Millsap, Millsap was out there getting chumped. Don't <laughs> <laughs> he was getting beat down, mm. <laughs> and he was crying to somebody he was in an MMA fight. I didn't expect well, it. I mean, Tyus, I mean, just looking at it, is, is Dwight going to give us anything this year? I mean, I'm not a Dwight fan, but I was <laughs> I was happy for the Hawks. Huh? You better be careful around here. I know. Listen, <laughs> I was hopeful for what he would do for the team, but he's not doing. I mean, Martin Gautat was slapping his stuff. Well, I, I tell you, you guys talking about John Wall. John Wall and Bradley Bell. In the backcourt, they both averaging 23 points a game. What's even crazier, what Brad Bill's, what, 23, 24? Yep. John Wall's, 24, mm-hmm. 25. And so you're going to have them for the next 10 to 12 years. Hawks are deeper. I like their bench better. Mm-hmm. But you got to get some more out of their starters, man. Right. It's just make sure it goes six, seven. This one? Man, ask me. The next time we play. We play tomorrow. We play tomorrow. Tyce, you like to win Hawks six, seven, or is it maybe a five or six series? I hope it goes at least six. <laughs> I was covering it when it only went <laughs> oof, four. <laughs> wow. Was it even four? All I know is we didn't win one, and that was just like. Oh, oh. When, the, when we got swept last year? Yeah. We lost yeah. Cleveland. I just, I mean, I hope it goes seven. I'm thinking at least six. Come on. We're going to need the Phillips Arena going crazy. I mean, we'll see tomorrow. They only lost by seven. Right. Yeah. There was no blowout. They won't blow out with 20 turnovers. turnovers. There was, was a turnovers. lot of turnovers. I know. See. Th- but you've been talking about all your mates about uh, our boy. This, this is what I want Wiz to do tonight in his in his, in his his room. Uh, I call I call Shooter Wiz. Wiz Khalif. I want him to just be <laughs> like, you know what? John Wall. This, just put in yourself, John Wall not giving me buckets tomorrow. Yeah. Whatever I got to do, if I got to get early foul, if I got to set the tone, because that's what the playoffs used to be. I'm going to set the tone. What a hard I'm, foul. What? Right. Yeah. Right through the chops. Ooh, right all down through the <laughs> grill <laughs> team, <Right>. everything. <laughs> right. Well, and sometimes it is about the momentum and not just about what you've done. I hope There's I'm so much more you play. can do in the playoffs the time. Yeah, we'll be right back. <laughs> a stock tip from a 16 year old but i'm here to tell you about a different kind of stock it's called better futures a stock for social change that's not about making money instead you invest to help students like me go to college this is beyond a simple donation it's the opportunity for america to invest in its kids and take an active stake in the future of the country the return on your investment isn't money What you get back is knowing you protected our potential. So one day, that potential can grow up to become surgeons and architects, executives and engineers. People who can change the future just by being a part of it. My name is Alicia, and I am your dividend. Invest in better futures with UNCF. Visit uncf.org slash invest. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. A public service announcement brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. When it comes to saving money, don't act like a baby. Goo goo gaga. Be the boss and make a budget. I'm the boss, baby. You're the boss of me. I am the boss of you. Are not. M2. Are not. M2. Need a little help? Aren't you going to do any work? I'm very busy delegating. Create a personalized savings plan. We can share. You obviously didn't go to business school. And get other tools and tips at feedthepig.org. Brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. Uncle Dan, 
Mom? Dad? If you store your guns properly, so not just anyone can get to them. I'll feel safer when I'm playing outside. Safer when walking home. Safer when my friends come over. As your neighbor, I'll feel safer. As a school teacher, I'll feel safer. We'll all feel safer. Your family, friends, and neighbors are all counting on you. If you own a gun, you have a full-time responsibility. When you aren't using it, be sure it can't get into the hands of curious children, troubled teenagers, a thief, or anyone else who might misuse it. Remember, always lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. This message brought to you by the National Crime Prevention Council, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, and the Ad Council. Vince Lombardi once said that it's hard to be aggressive when you're confused. Some of us think that taking our lives to the next level, both personally and professionally, is a confusing and complicated process. Guess what? It's not, and I can prove it. My book, Truisms, will show you how living your life by rules that are so self-evident and obvious, you'll say, I knew that. This powerful yet short, detailed bestseller is on sale right now, under $10. Go to michaelmcfadden.com, that's michaelmcfadden.com, and let Truisms help Help you to the next level. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Killer Mike, Killer Kia from the Ville. You're checking me out right now on the Sensation Station Network. Make sure you tune in. Man, we're back. Still talking to NBA right now. I can't believe people still hate on Kobe, man. Kobe. I can't believe people are still swinging from Kobe's. Fill <laughs> <laughs> in the blank. Kobe, a venture I mean, capitalist go. now. <laughs> He's a venture capitalist. Let it go. Like everybody let the habitual sexual ride. assault charges go. Hey, going to the West right now, man. Golden State wow. uh, really beat up on Portland. It's oh, just too much. Deep. It's too deep. It's too wow. Deep. wow. That was kind of too deep. They, everybody missed it. It's not. Yeah. It's over. I never said it. I don't want to hear it. It might be bad. Go to State beating up on people like Portland Trailer. It's just too much out there for Golden yeah. State. Right now. It don't even look fair right now. They should just save it all that for later. Somebody said something about Draymond. Man. Well, Draymond got all that talent, but Golden State Draymond's the glue of that team. Absolutely. If it ain't Draymond ain't there, as we saw last year in Game Five, everybody started crying when he was out. Dr Draymond is what Steve Kerr was back when he played. That glue guy. Yeah. Except he don't have to knock down threes. He can just beat people up. So. Yeah. But yeah, man, it's just one of them things, man. But it was one twenty-one, one hundred nine. Mm -hmm. You got McCullum, you got Dame Little, that's about it for Portland. Yeah. Right. And I mean, you got a lot for Golden State. There's a lot of lot of just talent. talent. And, 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 and you see when when uh what's my guy? So when Steph kinda goes down a little bit, Katie right there. He right there. And then Clay just, just quietly just, just over there in the corner. He he an assassin. Oh, he just kill you. Kill just him. put him in the Assassin Creed outfit. Killer, yeah. but then they come off the bench. He's not well. He's not a killer. He's an assassin. I like. He's an assassin. Kobe was a killer. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. An Kobe assassin a is a killer. And Kobe, uh, a very professional. Kobe killed killer. careers, but anyway, we go. <laughs> yeah, like a room. Yeah, but Portland, Dame Little, I love him to death. Can he do anything? Against this Golden State team, you don't even. Portland, who? <laughs> no. I love the Dane Lillard. It's a great city, though. Love yeah. Dane It is Lillard. a great city. A great Cities city. don't win championships. Yeah, you're though. right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Just keep going. I almost got one right now. But keep going. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> What's the next game? Keep it moving. <laughs> yeah. Because it was, it was going to turn into a fight if I, if I had went down. So let's I keep mean, going. Spurs <laughs> versus Grizzlies. Grizzlies is really old. Yeah. The Spurs are going to take that, no doubt. Yeah, they won by like 50, didn't they? Yeah. 111 to 82. But Again, it was quick, though. They, but they couldn't score in the second half, like yeah, we were talking about. They, they just couldn't score. Yeah. And then, you know, you have Vince, Vince Carter play like he's literally 25, 40. 26 minutes. He's 40. It's too many minutes for Vince, man. Yeah. But then Tony Allen not there. Yeah. And, and that, hurts. that hurts. That hurts. That's the enforcer. And, and then, that? like I said, Mark Gasol is their guy. Yeah. Yeah. But you had 27 the first half? What did you say, Macy, though? It might come. He's shooting those it. threes now. Yeah, he got made it nice. He's good at it, too. These, these, these stretch four guys. No, he stretched five, which he were. <laughs> right. <laughs> stretch seven. <laughs> these guys. But, Mason, you said it earlier, Mike Conley, man, he got to do something. Man. He can't be out there missing. First of all, if Mike Conley go back to a low fade, 
I think that'll help for starters. This dude thinks haircuts and clothes. I, listen, you look good, feel good, play good. This is true. That's always been the motto. This is true. Why, you know what I'm saying? You He's had. looking in that mirror every day. I, I got to say this. Speaking of clothes, I knew Russell Westbrook was going to have a bad night when he walked into the arena with those red pants and that black yeah, top. But, but, but see, he usually again, does well when he walks but, in the <laughs> But but this is what I listen. You have to when you feel good, like you gotta you gotta lay your outfit out. You got you know you gotta look at your uniform and you gotta be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Right. So when you, it matters, like all that matter, like coach, that matters. It matters except for Draymond. When when are people gonna walk? When are people gonna walk in like Jordan used to walk in with them super dapper Those suits? Those days are over. That, right. It'll come back around though. It'll come back but, around. But 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 Kobe but right dressed now, like Kobe I mean, dressed like heard the music. Dressed like what? Kobe, Kobe like came in the studio like that. No, Kobe came in the suit. He did everything Jordan did. Right. I mean, he copied him to a team. <laughs> so he same tailor, everything. <laughs> same barber. Mm. <laughs> same speech writer. We kind of act like he wrote that poem. <laughs> we'll be right same back. voice activation. Right. Major Key Alert, life is like school. You will be tested, so pass it. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Brought to you by Get Schooled and the Ad Council. Marie Callender's knows that you may not have time to roll out dough for a perfectly flaky crust that's made from scratch. Or enough time to mix vegetables with all white meat chicken and a homemade gravy. She knows you may not have a moment to crimp the edges of your favorite chicken pot pie. But Marie Callender's does. And when she's done, all you need to do is find time to grab someone special, sit down, and save her. Marie Callender's, it's time to save her. My savings are gone. Okay, where were they last? Here, right before I spent them on the vacation to Aruba. Weird. Not weird. Not saving now means no money later. For free ways to save, go to feedthepig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. You can file your own taxes. It's simple. Just click. If filing your own taxes is not for you, we've got you covered. Just click to reach a real CPA. Most advice is free. Or you can hire a CPA if you're still convinced that tax preparation is just not for you. It's all right here on MyOwnTaxReturn.com. That's MyOwnTaxReturn.com. This is Judge Hatchett, and you're listening to The Crush on SSN. ATL.com. Man, we're going to this crush recap brought to you by Blunt Power. With Blunt Power 3 sprays last for days. You can find out more about Blunt Power at their website, bluntpower.com. I'm going to spray some of that black mumble when I get in the car. Oh, on that Facebook page. Or oh, Twitter page at Blunt Power. I'm going to make a flavor. <laughs> Cleveland has finished it off. They've defeated Indiana 117 to 111 to take a 2 0 lead. Yeah. Right now, San Antonio already up by five on Memphis. Yeah. Hey, but speaking of teams, uh, Maceo's favorite point guard in the world, the Clippers, uh, <laughs> lost to, to Utah. Keep trying to tell y'all about that guy, man. Keep trying to tell y'all about that I guy. I so Joe. Joe? Johnson. <laughs> and, and, I, and I called it before it even happened. Joe Johnson. I called it before it happened. I did. Check the timeline. Hey, by the way, I thought Doc was going to go into the crowd after the reporter Look at told him, him man. That's hey, a man. stupid question. Hey, Listen. hey, that's a, that's a crazy question over there. Listen, Doc. <laughs> can't be mad, Doc. Doc, can't, can't be mad, Doc. That's the stupidest question I've ever heard. <laughs> can't be mad. I can't even talk right now, but that's a stupid question I've ever heard. Like can't, can't be mad, Doc. Love it. Hey, hey. It's a great sound bite. Hey. Can't be mad, dog. Stupidest question I ever heard. Can't be mad. I dog. love Utah team, though. They got a Derek Favors, uh, Gordon Hayward. Hometown. Yeah, they, they just team that we don't see much. Rudy Gobert. Rudy's yeah. out, though. He yeah. heard us. Uh, Ten seconds in the game, though, Coach. Yeah, Christ. man, he crawling on the floor. <laughs> I was like, yeah. the quickest ever. That's my guy right there. Shout out to Coach Carter. Coach no. Carter gets Ooh. it. Ooh, Maceo, tell him. Anything Maceo's telling him <sighs> should not be listened to. Wow. You can win them eights and them 24s next week. Right. I want to know that. I think I'm going with eight. I think I'm going with eight. You know what? Why don't you bring both of them in and then wear the so, eights so, on so, the eight o'clock? No, so this is what I'm going to do. So so I'm going I'm to I'm go eight one day. Then I'm going to go 24 the next day. 
I'm gonna go with Minneapolis. Why are we wasting time talking about this? I don't know. So, just let him have his fun. Yeah. Left. Michael Michael Cooper will be here Wednesday, and all this all this Kobe hate. Mm. I can't wait to ask him about Kobe. Man, he gonna love. He love Kobe. He, that, that's Lakers love. That's right family. There. That's I mean, family. They call right. the family. He but, he's I mean, nobody. I mean, Lakers don't call each other out. Celtics aren't gonna call each other out. Yeah. Well, Rondo don't want to invite Ray Allen to the to the celebration. That's personal. Yeah. Right. I don't even know what's going on with that. But Jesus hit the shot. Jesus was out there shooting. Evidently, Jesus has some issues too now, because KG and Paul and none of those guys have really stepped up. Some lames, man. Some lames. Then he went down to Miami. Went to the enemy. Exactly. Behind That's enemy lines. That's the problem. Tell you that he went That's, down to Miami. Well. Part of it. <laughs> so you don't think that Ray should his jersey shouldn't be retired in Boston? Mm. Part of that great team. They're not even inviting him to the thing. I wouldn't want my jersey. His jersey should be retired in Boston. He ain't gonna be invited to the all white party. I think he can go to the party. Everybody deserves a little party. Rondo right. said he can't come. His jersey being retired there, I don't think that makes sense. So does Paul Paul get his? Yes, yeah, Paul, absolutely. Paul, Paul Pierce. KG? Paul, KG, yes. Yeah. Yeah. He ain't been down that long. Yeah. yeah, but people loved him. Anything's mm. possible. If you go, if we're gonna keep your jersey in our city, we need to love you. Okay. So when KG does retire, he gonna go into the Hall of Fame as a Timberwolf, right? Yep. He, yeah, he should. Well, then mm -hmm. that's where his jersey should go. <laughs> so you trying to say he should have his jersey retired? I'm just saying I wouldn't cities. be opposed to him being oh, okay. in Boston, I like I said, Ray. I I'm opposed well, to Ray Allen's jersey being. Y'all don't do. Statues in Boston, do you? No. No, no, no. But you don't give no. Brady one? Am I get, are we going to give who? Brady. Oh, he might break the rules, you know. <laughs> Come on. He might. We, I, anything's possible. He should. Anything. Oh, he Bird, should get a statue. Bird has the to fact get. that they don't have enough space to hang up another Super Bowl yeah. banner. Bird, yeah. Bird has to get one. Before, before they get one, Bird, Bird, Bird should get, get one. one. Yeah, Why? I agree with that. Why? What? Why not? Why? Larry Bird, Larry he Legend. He was the Brady of... What, the 80s? Well, everybody's going to say a Bergen one. Everyone. What y'all get one? two other first ballot Hall of Famers, what? Everybody can say a Bergen one. Bill Russell should get one for her. Yeah, well, you know, see. Bill yeah, got that's team. What I'm so, now, so now when we start, <laughs> it's so like that, then. But for New England, it's, it's the Patriots only one guy. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's all about right. Brady. <laughs> not not going to get one, though. No, no one's going to remember all the stand-in corner bags for the bags. <laughs> Maybe nobody's going to remember them. When Ray is Pippen going to get his statue? Pippen not getting a statue. You can get Pippen one? Nah, Pippen not getting a statue, man. No? Yeah, getting one They're the best duo man. ever. Batman and Rob Bag. <laughs> Even the best supporting actor gets a <laughs> I mean. Mason, he got to get I mean, Pippen is. You oh. think about the two top two bulls of all time. Okay. Pippen too. Don't be mad at me when I say this, y'all. Man. Please, please don't, y'all, please don't I'm be mad at me when I say this. You say something wrong. <laughs> One of the reasons I wasn't big on Scotty, his shoes were ugly. Man, they made, <laughs> Nike just made the ugliest shoe for Scotty Pippen. Wow. And they would be like, you know, the Al Pippen ones and two, they were, they were trash, man. As a sneakerhead, I'm offended. <laughs> he should have had a better shoe. So it's not Pippen's fault. I blame Nike. Bro. That, that, that's why Pippen wasn't one of my guys. Dude was a lot down the thunder. Oh, coach, listen. His merit on the court. It was just they gave him a statue. That guy. His shoe game. Because, like, when they made the Jordan statue, you, you had to be like, what, what shoes we going to put on Mike? With Pippen, yeah. you're going to be like, all right, let's oh, just do one man. from his ankles up. <laughs> but, I mean, wouldn't you think he would have some kind of say, like, before the shoes were produced? Or right, like, action? so, so, like. Can we just get his opinion on it? Right, so if somebody bring you your shoe and you and be like, hey, man, this your shoe. Right. You're like, oh, man. I got it with it. Right. Man, y'all know Joy was sabotaging that behind the scenes. Right, make it ugly so nobody buys it. Come on, y'all. can't have him selling my shoe I at do. the same time. Come on, man. Come on. You know what? They're going to have Pippin statue. going to be that one where he dunks on you so they're going to have that so he don't get the shoes with the, in. With, makes the under, it, with the underneath? Yeah. With the underneath? Yeah, so that's going to be a statue. Actually, they should have him after he dunked on him and he pushed down, push down on him. Yeah. Yeah. He, oh. he, he had to do Pat Ewing like that. <laughs> he had to do Pat Ewing like that, man. I missed the episode of New York Undercover <laughs> to see that right there. Man, I couldn't believe, man. Torrell was dead York fresh that day, man. <laughs> and, and then the dude got dunked on, man. You know, J.C. Williams couldn't really drive, but Torrell, you can with Torrell on the Torrell, dope boy fresh all the time. Like, man, they're cops. 
Like, man, been here on the cover. You tell you on the cover a mile away, man. What do you got on, man? Tore Red Wood fresh, though. Tore Red Wood dope, boy, fresh. Yeah, yeah. I don't even like light skins like that. <laughs> uh, I just don't. Uh, boy, what a show. <laughs> it's been real up in here. Boy, oh, what a show. <laughs> Tyce, we, Glad you enjoyed it, Coach. Thank you yeah, so much. Yes, thank you for having me. The original, as we call them. Yes. Any yes, shout yeah. outs you want to give? Oh, always. So I want to shout out my family. I just came back from Boston. I know y'all heard enough about Boston, but slow that, slow your roll for a second. I'm talking about my family. Um, I was able to see them. Shout out to just my family for keeping me grounded. Shout out to Channel 2 for keeping me employed. And shout out to The Crush for always making this a good time. Uh, I was tired coming home from work. My friend was like, you, you're doing something else? I'm like, no, this is fun, though. Yeah. Yeah, the crush is always a great time. Even though Maceo is my puppy brother. And we fight like puppy brothers. <laughs> I can't believe you got the hate for Kobe. Uh, please, <laughs> no more. After we uh, haged that producer, Lisa, Leah, you glad it's over? Leah made it. <laughs> Bring it back <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you, Coach. Man, always. Thank you, Taisha. My yes. guy. Thank you, Mace. We Tomor- out of time. Tomorrow's scheduled to appear Willie Anderson, in a, in a BA vet. He should be fun as well, man. So it's going to be. NBA. Well, we're going to get the argument. That's my dude right there. <laughs> He's another me. one that's going to be like Kobe. Right. Exactly. Right. Oh, no, nah, he got love for Kobe. You know, we already talked about it. He got love for Kobe. Uh, not your obsession. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, guys. Her. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Later. Peace. <laughs>